Peter Murray from Mark Bass, Charles from Premier Guitar, Winter Nam 2012. Mark Bass Booth, what's new, man? Well, we got quite a lot of new stuff going on, as usual. Um, this year we got three new heads, and we've got four new effect pedals. And uh, the one that uh, people are talking about most, maybe, is the Big Bang. And uh, the Big Bang is a new 500-watt head. Uh, as you can see here, it's uh, smaller than the Little Mark series, narrower. Um, it's the same um, two rack space height. Um, and it has a digital power amp, but it's a new design of our digital power amps. So uh, people familiar with our F1 and our F500 will find that this is a really a different sounding head. It's um, a lot warmer sounding than, than uh, digital power amps that, that people have heard before, uh, re really quite exciting. So people who like the analog sound but um, ap appreciate uh, the lighter weight, this, this head is just over four pounds, uh, so it's super lightweight, um, will really like this head. Also, we've, we've put some, some extra features in here that a lot of customers have been asking for. Uh, there's an auxiliary input, so you can uh, play along with your, your uh, MP3 player, whatever. Uh, laptop, uh, any, any other input source. Um, and then there's a headphone output with a, a level control. And there's also foot switch control of the filters uh, that we have standard on all our amplifiers. The VLE vintage loudspeaker emulator that is uh, uh, a shelf that cuts highs for a more old school sound. And the VPF, which is the variable pre-shape filter, which boosts lows and highs and cuts mids. It's really good for slap. Um, so it's like finally there's there's foot switch control of those filters, which is kind of handy if you want to do a little slap break in the middle of a tune, for example. Um, and of course, having a, a foot switch control of the mute is is also very handy. So uh, this is a, a really nice feature packed, lightweight, great sounding new head, and uh, and I think it's it's going to do really well for us. So that's the first one. Peter, what's that? This is the TTE 800 Randy Jackson signature model head. Uh, last year we came out with the TTE 500, um, which was designed with Randy to achieve um, a really nice vintage 2B sound without the weight and um, uh, size and cost uh, and manage, hard to manage aspects of all tube amps. Uh, so this is a, a much, much lighter amplifier, very reliable, uh, and again, less expensive than all tube amps. But it's got a tube preamp, and it's got a tube compressor, very simple three-band EQ, and the color contour is like the vintage loudspeaker emulator on our other amplifiers, but it has a tube in it. Um, and the power amp um, on the 500 watt was analog, on the 800 watt it's digital, but both amps have what we call a tube technology emulator. And basically what it does is it makes the power amp sound like a tube power amp. Uh, so you end up with, with a head that really sounds like an all tube head, has all the sonic benefits of, of, of an all tube head, very rich, warm sound. Um, but it's, again, uh, lighter and less expensive and more reliable. a little more color there. Just taking some of the top off, it's a pretty bright sounding bass. Compression. A little compression.
it's hard to hard to cover the the full range of sounds in a in, in a in a situation like this, but um, you can hear the compressors really very natural sounding, very very musical, and again the color contour allows you to to sort of dial back to a, a more vintage sound. Cool. New head we have. Actually, we don't have the exact uh, head right here, but um, this year we'll be launching um, the Momark Black, which is um, a Momark amplifier with a, a tube preamp with a, a mute switch. Uh, actually, this this um, EQ module, it's four band EQ with two bands of se semi parametric mids, and of course our filters, uh, and in the in the output stage, there is a by-band limiter, which limits the lows but uh, keeps the highs open for uh, a less sort of choked sound when you're when you're really pushing the amp. Um, this th there's a 500 watt analog version and an 800 watt digital version, um, and uh, you can see very cool lights. Um, so it looks looks really great on stage as well, and. Uh, one important thing, of course, is anybody who, who's heard about the Momark system um, knows that it's a modular system. So, in fact, if you decide you want a different kind of preamp or a different kind of EQ, maybe like a seven-band graphic EQ or a four-band semi-parametric EQ or no EQ at all, um, just a, a, a blank EQ module, um, you can swap out any of these modules. It actually takes like a minute to, to take one of the modulars at, at modules out and, re and replace it. So, you know, if you wanted a two preamp head and a solid state preamp head, you don't need to buy two whole different amps. You can, you can buy one of these amps and then buy a module to swap out with the, the, uh, the preamp module. Lego amp. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very cool. So that's the, the Momark Black. Cool, and you got some pedals over here as well, right? Yeah. New for 2012, we've got the MB7 Booster, which is a seven band graphic EQ. Uh, and at least these sliders light up really, really nicely. Um, and of course, a, a clean boost. Uh, the pedal has true bypass, like all our pedals, so your, your tone won't suffer at all when you're in bypass mode. Um, and another thing that customers will appreciate is it runs on either 9 or 12 volts uh, or a 9 volt battery. So this is a really handy pedal that you know really any bass player could make good use of. Uh, handy to have a, a, a different EQ sound at the you know touch of a button as well as a boost for you know soloing or anytime you need a bit more juice. And then we got the MB7 Distorsore which is a 7 band um, EQ in a distortion pedal, so you can really control the the style of distortion that you get, a more or more gritty, biting distortion, or a or a darker distortion if you boost the lows, or maybe more of a sort of nasal sounding distortion if you if you boost the mids. Really, it gives you a lot of variety of tone uh, in in your distortion, and again, runs on nine or twelve volts or nine volt battery and uh, true bypass. And we've also got a couple of mini series pedals. Uh, this is a new series uh, we brought in. Um, of course, a lot of people who use effects, they have a, a, a pedal board and they like to cram in as many effects as they possibly can um, to get more, more sounds. Um, so we've responded to those requests from customers by creating these, these mini pedals. Uh, this one is the mini boost and it's just a clean boost, but we also put in the VPF filter, which again boosts lows and highs and cuts mids. So really good for a, a slap sound. Um, so this this one pedal would be good for you know giving you a boost for solos and the VPF again if there's you know slap breaks in in a tune or you just want to switch to a different sound really handy to be able to turn that on and off uh, and we also have in the mini series a uh, distortion pedal for bass uh, really great tight sounding distortion uh, in just a very little little pedal like this and that's it that's pretty cute pedal. man it's pretty cute distortion pedals should be cute. Yeah, I agree. As as unintimidating as possible. Well, the the sound can be intimidating, but the pedal itself not so much. All right. Thanks very much, Peter. I appreciate your time. This is Charles from the Mark Bass booth signing off for premiereguitar.com. <laughs>